Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. This article that I have here will uh, exemplify Zelensky's uh, alternate reality that he uh, lives in. And uh, not only him, but there are some other ones who uh, do the same thing. They really don't understand um, what are the boundaries of their influence. They lost um, how they, they lost connection with reality. They don't know where it starts and where it ends. It's kind of blend in his imaginary, uh, you know, the make-believe reality and uh, reality as we know it. Like right now, I'm snapping my finger. That's reality. He thinks that that's not snapping. He thinks that's something like, I don't know, whatever he might think. So let's go straight into this article where Zelensky is going to use shaming ta tactic uh, directed towards the Russian uh, population in Russia. This article, I have two of them actually, but they deal with the same subject. Uh, this particular is one from uh, Ukrainska Pravda from Sunday 14th of August 2022. Zelensky to, the Ru to Russians. If you remain silent, you are complicit in war. And the Russians are saying, yeah, so we know that. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Go and cook a, a little uh, scramble egg for us. So it says here, this is what uh, uh, <laughs> Zelensky uh, stated, and I'm quoting, when evil takes on such proportion, people's silence approaches the level of complicity and refraining from taking up an active stance against evil will only assist it. That's true. That's true. That's true. And then, therefore, if you have Russian citizenship and you are silent, it means that you are not fighting and thus that you are supporting evil. Well, you have to prove first, Mr. Zelensky, that what the Russian army and Russian state is doing is considered evil by the Russian citizens. See? So what's right for you might be wrong for them and vice versa, unless, unless you really think that you are the uh, holder of truth and justice and reality, which you are not. So it's true, the first paragraph was great. Yes, when evil takes on such proportions, I don't know what such would be, but I'm guessing something great, some big, some, you know, extended people's silence approaches the level of complex complicity well that's kind of true yeah and refraining from taking up an active stance against evil will only assist it well could be could be it doesn't mean that you assist it but you just don't act i mean in activity you can say well if you see a rape someone raping someone else you're not guilty of rape you're, you're guilty of what of inactivity but you can be a com complacent, complacent to that because maybe you're afraid to do that. Maybe you think, oh my God, that guy's gonna kick my butt if I try. So you don't act. Should you be indicted? Should you be charged, convicted and thrown into jail because you were afraid to act? Or maybe, I don't know, who knows? I'm just giving this example. I know it's not the same as this, but maybe you don't act because of that. Or maybe you turn your head and go somewhere else. Maybe you, I don't know. And I gave you an example as a rape, but I can give you an argument in the street between two cars, right? They hit one another and you're over there and they start fighting. What? You don't know what, what the situation is. You want to stop it, but how are you going to stop it? Maybe you're a family member of the ones that got hit or hit the other one. What are you going to do? Grab your dad by the neck and uh, subdue him? Is that what you're going to do? Ah, you, you might intervene or you might not intervene. Maybe you agree with your dad because that's your dad and the other one is someone else. So why should you help the other guy when he's a stranger and he's my father and I love my father regardless. So I know it's an extension and I'm you know, extrapolating this, but just to, to see, I'm just trying to make a point that I don't think the Russians think that this, what uh, their country is doing in the, uh, territories where the Russians were killed by the uh, 
regime in Kiev from 2014 to 2022, I don't think they're against that. I think they are for liberating their fellow Russians from their being killed, according to them, genocide committed by the Ukrainians against the Russian population in the eastern Ukraine. That's how it goes over there. Now, there are facts and evidence that there was a war and those the army of Ukraine was killing these civilians that took arms and defended their uh, oblast or how we want to call those because in Ukraine an illegitimate government was in place in 2014 after they violently took over a, an elected legitimate government in 2014 what Yanukovych right Yanukovych was overthrown with the help of outside forces with the traitors inside so then this guy said we don't recognize you which is right we don't recognize you and then these guys took arms against the Russians the Russian speaking population if you want so why would the, the Russians in Russia wait for what eight years until they said you know what enough it's enough so can you see the logic and reasoning of a Russian so when Zelensky says that the Russian is what are you talking about you're the bad dude you should just stop fighting and you should just pay reparation to our fellow Russians in the eastern uh, uh, Ukraine you should just you're illegitimate because everything what occurred regardless if it was vote and democratic elections after 2014 it was everything was illegitimate why because we didn't vote so if we didn't vote what do you mean only you voted so you see not the whole country voted so it, it you're illegitimate that's what the Russians are saying from Russia is that a uh, some true truth in this yes is it all the truth no but when Zelensky just comes and say that's evil I think he's just uh, living in an alternate reality because first he's considered illegit considered illegitimate illegitimate president by these guys he was not voted by the whole population is he considered a criminal by them yes because his forces killed civilians Ukrainian citizens right of Russian ethnicity in the eastern Ukraine the the military killed civilians what is that the, they defended themselves they didn't attack Kiev but Kiev attacked them with the military with the tanks so Zelensky is talking smack nevertheless he can talk and he's uh, uh, hailed as a great general and very much courage and he's an uh, upstanding individual but for the Russians he's not now where is the truth always somewhere in the middle a little bit to the left a little bit to the right well so Zelensky's words uh, are really hitting nothing just rhetoric and it's just like a you know when you play a violin and the violin is out of tune it's like that's what is Zelensky for the Russians he's not even playing a tune or being you no know, nice uh, you know, tune to a uh, certain kind of uh, Aria. All right, thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.